Howdy kids, it's me, Bob Harris, Senior Editor of FootballDieHards.com. It's the holiday weekend. Merry Christmas and all that kind of uh, fun stuff to you. And it's week 16, which is a big deal because it's, what, championship week for most of us. Uh, even for those who will continue playing on, of course, we'll be here week 17 with and through the playoffs with uh, season long and DFS, DF season long next week, DFS and, and other tournament style stuff through the playoffs. So hang with us here. Uh, some big stories this week. Of course, uh, you can see the Saturday afternoon game is going on behind me. Baltimore Ravens entertaining the Colts. There was no Jeremy Macklin as expected. He had been listed as doubtful. Mon Dante Moncrief for the Colts had been previously ruled out. Uh, so no real surprises there. Saturday night's game, uh, there will be no Devontae Adams or Aaron Rodgers for the Packers. Uh, all hands pretty much on deck for the Vikings. Uh, and what's really a favorable matchup. So we'll see how that one plays out. Uh, will be cold in Green Bay. Surprising development that. Uh, Ezekiel Elliott returns from a six-game suspension to take on the Seattle Seahawks defense that is a little healthier than it was last week, but which gave up four TDs to Todd Gurley uh, last Sunday. So everyone's eager to play your Zeke Elliott if you've been holding on to him. No reason not to. He's expected to get a full workload. Uh, some surprising developments uh, Saturday afternoon as uh, Michael Thomas. Uh, the Saints are play, playing the Falcons and... and uh, and it looks like, in, in New Orleans, and it looks like Michael Thomas has turned up as questionable uh, Saturday afternoon, and not uh, on the Friday injury report, but was added on Saturday. Uh, questionable with a hamstring. Haven't seen a lot of details. Looking for those, I'll be posting more on the website as I find more. Uh, so look in the main page in the news section, the headline, late breaking update section for more on that. Michael Humano Wanui has uh, been ruled out. Everyone else is off the injury report. Ted Ginn is fine. Uh, Josh Hill is fine. But Thomas is a big story, I mean, been a big play threat and you know thousand yard receiver so we'll see what's going on with him uh, as we get closer to kickoff on the other side of the ball everyone's off the injury report Julio Jones has an ankle and thumb issues he's he worked on through those Friday showed Dan Quinn the explosiveness necessary removed from the injury report Tevin Coleman fully cleared from his concussion off the injury report Muhammad Sanu was limited by a knee he also was removed from Friday's injury report <clears throat> moving beyond that we have the Carolina Panthers uh, taking on Tampa Bay at home uh, the Panthers have Devin Funches and Russell Shepard both listed as questionable. Both are expected to play. Uh, we'll see how that one plays out. On the other side of the ball, Bucks are beat up. Offensive line issues are now compounded by Deshaun Jackson being ruled out with a foot injury. O.J. Howard, the rookie tight end, has been placed on OR with an IR with an ankle injury that he suffered last week. Uh, Cameron Bates, Bates listed as questionable, expected to play. So Chris Godwin will start opposite Mike Evans. Uh, and uh, and it's going to be a tough game for the Buccaneers. We'll see we'll see what they can come up with. Uh, expect Jameis Winston to target Mike Evans heavily, though. I think that's a safe bet in this one. And we'll see uh, if Bray can hit the field. I'll have that also in the 90 minutes leading up to kickoff uh, tomorrow, uh, Sunday morning, this morning, if you're watching now. Uh, for the Denver Broncos, uh, there's also some late day developments. Uh, Emmanuel Sanders and Cody Landover were listed as questionable in the original injury report, ankle and thigh injuries. Neither made the trip. They're both ruled out. That leaves Benny Fowler working alongside Demarius Thomas. Jordan Taylor's in the mix. Maybe Isaiah McKenzie. They don't have a lot of bodies in the position anymore. And we're still waiting to see who's going to be quarterback. It sounds like Brock Osweiler. Uh, he split reps with Paxton Lynch. Uh, but the word before all this was Paxton Lynch would play when healthy. He's questionable. So he's not actually healthy. Uh, it's kind of a rough playing surface that they have in uh, Washington at FedEx Field, so maybe they'll, they'll play it safe uh, with Lynch for another week, but uh, we'll have word on that as soon as it comes. Uh, expect that and then before kickoff. Uh, before kickoff. Um, on the other side of the ball, the Washington Redskins are beat to hell, too. Uh, in addition to their offensive line issues, Trent Williams, their star tackle, was placed on IR. He'll have knee surgery. But Samaj P. Ryan came up with a groin injury in practice Thursday, did not practice Friday. Uh, fellow running back LaShawn, LaShawn Daniels was placed on IR today with a broken hand he suffered in practice on Thursday. That pretty much leaves Capri Bibbs as the only healthy running back. They signed Kenny Hilliard. On Saturday, uh, I think they added another body uh, during the week from the practice squad. But essentially, if Samaje Pirine's inactive, Capri Bibbs is your guy, right? So that's going to be an interesting one to see play out. Uh, beyond that, Jamison Crowder also listed as questionable with a hamstring. Uh, Maurice Harris questionable with a back issue. So uh, pretty beat up Washington team going up against a pretty beat up Denver team. So interesting to see how that one plays out, uh, especially with the pass rush of the Broncos and the offensive line issues in Washington. I'm just uh, not, don't have a great feeling about Kirk Cousins in this one. Uh, New England Patriots will entertain the Buffalo Bills. James White listed as questionable. Chris Hogan listed as questionable. 
Um, Rex Burkhead ruled out, so it looks like uh, Mike Gilsley will be active this week, uh, even if James White makes the active list. So we haven't seen Gilsley since, what, October? Uh, a revenge game for him if he goes against Buffalo, so everyone will be interested to see if he can get you know in the mix a little bit. I think Deion Lewis is still a great play. Uh, and on the other side of the ball, Kelvin Benjamin's dealing with the sore knee that he's had. It's a torn meniscus. He's been playing through it, but clearly isn't, you know, at working at full speed, uh, even if he is on the field. Nick O'Leary listed as questionable with a back injury in that one. Uh, for the Cleveland, for the Chicago Bears going up against the Cleveland Browns, uh, Adam Shaheen is questionable. He missed the last week's game with the same chest injury he's dealing with this week. Uh, for Cleveland, Isaiah Crowell and Duke Johnson both removed from the injury report. They were they were uh, dealing with shoulder issues. They both have, through the course of the season, played through these injuries. So uh, the expectation, no, no worries there in terms of how the injuries will impact them, uh, barring a setback or the unforeseen. Uh, the New York Jets will host the Los Angeles Chargers. For the Jets, Matt Forte and Elijah McGuire are both listed as questionable. Bilal Powell, the only really healthy back or top of the heap of lead back. So we'll see. It's a good matchup. We'll see if those two guys can be, uh, the, if Forte and McGuire can make it onto the field. And we've seen how they don't, the, the Jets are more than willing to go with the three-way rotation. Uh, so it would be great for Powell owners if they could cull that hurt a little bit, but we'll see if that's the case. On the other side of the ball, Austin Eckler is listed as questionable. If he does play, he is not expected to play on offense, according to multiple accounts. All the observers we've talked to, Eric D. Williams from the uh, ESPN and Jack Wang from Los Angeles uh, County, Orange County Register, um, they, they, they expect him to just play on special teams. That means Brandon Oliver would back up Melvin Gordon. Hunter Henry placed on IR. That brings... Uh, that brings Antonio Gates into play. Um, I don't think he looks like the Antonio Gates of old. He's, he, you know, he's showing some of his age. Um, that said, it's a great matchup against the Jets, and he clearly, you know, Phillip Rivers has a level of trust in him, so if you're in a pinch, you never know. Uh, Miami Dolphins had, head to Kansas City. Uh, Devontae Parker is listed as questionable. He practiced fully on Friday, so seems to be going in the right direction with his ankle injury. Uh, Damian Williams still listed as doubtful again this week. Don't expect him to play. He's been on the field a little bit for practice, but... This seems like another week with Kenyon Drake having a free path to uh, heavy workload. So <clears throat> roll him out if you got him. The Chiefs not exactly uh, world beaters when it comes to stopping uh, opposing running backs. Uh, for the Los Angeles Rams, going up against the Tennessee Titans in Tennessee. Uh, set it and forget it. Mr. Automatic, the Legatron. <laughs> uh, Greg Zerline is out. He's done for the year. Uh, suffered a back injury. Uh, he's, it's been an ongoing disc issue that he's been playing through. Uh, aggravated it last week, and so he'll be replaced by one Sam Frickin. Uh, and so, cautious approach there. Get Zerline out of your lineups if he's been in there. He's been an easy play, right? Uh, the late afternoon kickoffs. Uh, Arizona Cardinals host the New York Giants. Tavares King out for the Giants. For the Cardinals, another interesting situation. Kerwin Williams is uh, questionable with quad and rib injuries. If he doesn't play, Elijah Penny might be a great play against the New York Giants defense has struggled to stop opposing running backs. DJ Foster also in the mix, but Penny's the big bruising guy. Uh, so kind of interesting, maybe a similar situation to Washington where somebody can come out of nowhere uh, if the right circumstances take place. John Brown listed as questionable. Chad Williams, both wide receivers. Uh, Brown's had a toe injury. It's cost him like three or four games. Uh, he's worked on a limited basis each of the last two weeks. Maybe he gets back, maybe not. Drew Stanton is back in at quarterback, so... Uh, what I expect there is, is Larry Fitzgerald to be heavily targeted. Troy Nicholas, the tight end, has been ruled out. Jermaine Gresham is healthy. You wonder if Ricky Seals-Jones will have the same you know, connection with Stanton that he did with Gabbert after Gabbert and he you know, worked together on the scout team and, and worked together through training camp. So got to wonder about that a little bit. But the Giants, pretty generous to tight end, so worth noting there. Uh, Bryce Butler out for the Dallas Cowboys. As I mentioned, Ezekiel Elliott, you might have heard of him. He's back in the mix and will start as usual and uh, back into his usual role and expected to play a heavy workload. Came back from his suspension in great shape, went down to Cabo, Mexico. They built him a little workout center at a resort down there and he just buckled down, reportedly leaner and in great shape. So uh, so feel comfortable with Zeke at this point. Uh, the other side of the ball, Nick Bannett, the tight end, has been uh, listed as questionable. He worked fully Friday. Uh, the Jacksonville Jaguars, Alan Hearns looks like he could return listed as questionable. Uh, worked on a limited basis this week. Marquise Lee has been ruled out, though. As I mentioned, Leonard Fournette uh, working fully this week uh, off the injury report. It's a great matchup against San Francisco. So uh, 
Keelan Cole seems to take on over as the top guy. D.D. Westbrook's in the mix. Maybe Hearns injects himself in. Blake Bortles playing extremely well. You'd think the Jaguars want to run if they can, um, but clearly they're not afraid to use Blake Bortles if the need arises. And again, San Francisco susceptible on both fronts. On the other side of the ball, Garrett Selleck, the tight end, listed as questionable as a touchdown in each of the last two games. Uh, he was limited in practice all week, has knee and rib injuries. Beyond that, DeAndre Hopkins was removed from the final injury report. These are the Monday games. Uh, the Houston hosting the Steelers. Uh, DeAndre Hopkins was limited by a toe today and yesterday, but they removed him from the injury report. He'll play as usual. Antonio Brown, calf injury, will not play. That makes Juju Smith-Schuster, uh, Martavis Bryant, and uh, even Eli Rogers viable plays, I think. You know, it's a group to... Not a very good uh, Texans pass defense, so interesting plays there for everybody. Uh, Amari Cooper going up against the Philadelphia Eagles is listed as questionable. Sounds like he'll play. Jack Del Rio expects him to play. I don't know if fantasy owners are going to be willing to go that mile in an all-important game after a disappointing season, but he should be available. <clears throat> the other side of the ball, there's been some talk that maybe the Eagles would slow down if the Vikings lose Saturday night's game. Uh, the Eagles clinch throughout and you know get everything they want in the playoffs. Uh, will they take their foot off the gas? Doug Peterson said on Saturday, no, they won't. The game plan remains unchanged, So, and they are a healthy team. So there you have it. Uh, as always, go to the main page of the site. Lots of news going up and will be going up in advance of kickoffs and all the inactive announcements. Uh, all kinds of great content from John Lobb, Armando Marcel, myself, Gary Davenport, J.J. Buck, Brad Cruz, uh, the whole crew, Chad Stapley's there. So uh, don't, David Hunter, don't, so don't miss out on that. Check out all the items there. Uh, you can listen to me, uh, Je along with Jeff Manns, on the SiriusXM Fantasy Sports Radio pregame show, 11 a.m. to uh, 1 p.m. Uh, on Sunday. You can listen to me and Mike Dempsey doing a special football diehard show on SiriusXM Fantasy Sports Radio Christmas Day show from noon until 2 p.m. There'll be two games then on Monday. So enjoy all that. Best of luck uh, in your holiday championship pursuits. And uh, I will be back next week, and I hope some of you are as well. Good luck.